What's going on guys? My name is Ted Timber, you an in-depth look at what I believe to be the best Slayer class in Modern Warfare 3. Um, this is going to be a very, very broad and very, very in-depth overlook at this custom class right here. Now we're going to start off with the MP7 submachine gun. The reason I like this is because, and I didn't use it in some of my other videos that I've gone over, is because the MP7 is not fantastic at very much, but it's also not horrible at anything. It's got very, very low recoil, however, a very, very low time to kill as well, um, which is not very good. Um, also the suppressor, uh, it cuts off its range even more, makes it so it's almost always a five bullet kill. The reason I like this gun is because it's always very reliable, and that's why it's used so commonly in Modern Warfare 3. Low recoil and mixed with um, its nice magazine size, nice fire rate, um, it being so mobile, very, very reliable. Um, obviously, the silencer keeps you off the radar, so when you're going for these eight or nine kill streaks, um, such as the Reaper, and then the Reaper kind of gets you your, the rest of your kill streaks, um, it makes it so that you're always going to be stay off the radar when you shoot, and the extended mag, so you've always got a, a lot of ammo, because you get more initial ammo when you have an extended mag on your gun. Also, you've got that longer magazine size so you can take out a lot of enemies at once. Also, since I'm using Slide of Hand as my first perk, I don't have on Scavenger. So to get these longer kill streaks going, I want to make sure I've got a secondary gun that's also very reliable. That's why I chose the MP9 um, pocket submachine gun, I like to call it. Um, however, it's uh, not exactly as good as a submachine gun. However, it's very, very close. 32 round magazine with the silencer once again. This gun is very, very reliable. Also low recoil. And if you run out of ammo on your primary, your MP7, switch to your MP9's uh, pocket submachine gun or machine pistol as they call it in this game. Um, it's just as good as a gun. Sometimes even better because it shoots a little bit faster and it's also very reliable. Moving on, the Simtex grenade is good for that one quick kill. If you know where an enemy's going to be, just throw your flash grenade first, followed by the Simtex if you get a hit marker, and you're going to get that kill right away. Um, flash grenades are also good because they give a lot of hit markers. And um, we all know the hit markers turn into assists, and with that hardline pro being my second, uh, it's my second perk, those assists count as kills, which gets you more kill streaks, more kills in general. So that's why I use the flash grenades. They have the biggest blast radius, which is going to give you a lot of hit markers, which is going to give you a lot of assists. Now onto the perks, sleight of hand. Like I said before, um, it, it gives us so you can you can reload tw twice as fast as normal. Um, if you're caught in a situation where you've got a lot of enemies to take out and you get caught reloading, you don't want that to have happen. You can't press Y Y in this game to bring forward your gun faster. Um, it just doesn't work for some reason. So they've got to have that sleight of hand pro to make sure you don't get caught reloading. Also, if you run out of ammo, you can switch to your secondary very, very quickly. Um, switch to that uh, trusty MP9 uh, backup submachine gun, I like to call it. And um, you're always ready for anything that comes at you. You've got plenty of ammo. You're good to go. Hardline Pro just gets your kill streaks one kill early. Also, the flash grenades get you a lot of assists since your guns is a five bullet kill. You're going to get a lot of assists. The Reaper can sometimes even give assists. All these things are going to be really nice to get those assists that count as kills and um, just build your kill streaks even further. Get you more assault kill streaks. Very, very nice. Very, very handy. And Steady Aim Pro is just always a very, uh, very good uh, perk choice for the submachine guns. It increases their already good hit fire accuracy, so you can hit fire almost mid range. Really, really nice and handy. Also, bringing you up and forward faster is always a good idea. Now for the kill streaks, easily the most important reason I chose this this exact class for um, for my Slayer class. The Reaper always gets you about five to six kills unless it gets shot down. All these things are variable. You've got to understand that you know it can get shot down and EMP can be called in. So it can be a very a wasted class if you get the kill streaks and it all should get taken out very quick. But for the most part, these are always get you a lot of kills. Um, the Reaper is the best nine kill streak out of the bunch because it can get you upwards of seven kills, even eight kills sometimes. I've gotten, I've had my Reaper give me all the way to my Osprey Chopper Gunner uh, several times, in fact, in Modern Warfare 3, and it's very, very small, so it's harder to shoot down. Next comes the Pavlo. This is only three kills off of the Reaper, so it's very easy for the Reaper to lead you straight to your Pavlo, and the Pavlo is just an absolute monster. Um, however, it is a large target, and it flies closer to the ground, so it's easily shot down. That's its only negative effect. Um, but if it doesn't get shot down, it can easily rack you 10, 15 kills sometimes, even on the smaller maps or on the larger maps. It does very, very well. Um, and then finally, this leads you to the ultimate kill streak, the Osprey Chopper Gunner. This not only destroys the other team for about a minute while you're pounding down bullets on them and raining down hell, but it also delivers your team four care packages with more assault kill streaks to lead to even more dominance. So although you don't get the care packages normally, if you've got a full team, you can tell them to leave the kill streaks for you and just kind of guard them, and then you can go over there, collect them, get even more kills. So like I said, this is the ultimate Slayer class. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you guys want to see more. If you do want to see some of my other classes, such as my Ultimate Rushing class, my Best Mode class, um, Sniper class, some of these have already been posted. Some of these will be posted in the future. If you if um, they're not posted yet, I'll make sure to leave a link that, that tells you they haven't been posted yet. But subscribe, and when I do post them, you'll make sure to get them in your subscription box. Um, also, check out the links down below. They're going to link you to some of the, the better classes that I've got as well. Otherwise, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.